Praise God Saints, Church Without Judgment, short little edification. And it's concerning. We got that new variant out there. There's a new virus. Be careful. There's been viruses for thousands of years. I want to talk about leprosy real quick. I'm going to pray, but backdrop. Leprosy, Old Testament times, skin disease, boils, breaking out. They had to be in the wilderness. They couldn't be in the inner courts or the outer courts. They could not have a liberty with others. They couldn't have koinonia, fellowship. Then they had to holler out. They were unclean and they had to stay afar off. Yeah, they were the black sheep. Diseases have been from the beginning of the earth. Father, forgive me of my sins. Holy Ghost, bless this. I just want to touch base. Luke 17. Luke 17, we're going to start in verse 11. Be careful out in the community. It's, it's out there. Just be careful. Take care of your immune system. You guys are so smart and intelligent. Um, but I just want to let you know there's a variant out there. And I think they call it five or something. But I want to touch base about this story. Ten men have leprosy and Jesus heals them all. Listen to this. Now what happened is he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then had he is entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. They had to stay far off because of what I explained to you. It, it was that if you had leprosy, you were messed up and you 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 didn't have no type of environment uh, for yourself. You were a loner, you were in isolation, and you were sick. There were 10 of them who stood afar off, 13, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So they knew to call him by his name and they called him master and then they asked for what they needed. They were smart enough. They said, have mercy on us. That's all we have to do. 14. So when he saw them, he said to them, and when he saw them, that mean he had to be real intimate with them because he couldn't outside of them saying, we're unclean, we're unclean. You won't know it until you walk up on them and then you're running away. And then they're terrified and you're terrified. They're terrified because they're embarrassed of how they feel. You're upset because you don't want that contamination. That sounds like the world, huh? So when he saw them, listen to this. He said to them, go show yourself to the priest. And so it was that as they went, so they obeyed and as they went, they were cleansed. Not, they didn't stand still. It says, and so as it was that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned with a loud voice, glorifying God and fell down on his face at his feet like Mary. So he, he returned to Jesus with a loud voice. So he returned with a loud voice, glorifying God in 16, fell down on his face and his feet by giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. He was mixture. He was not full Jew. He wasn't Hebrew. He was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? 19. And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. The foreigner understood that he was so happy to get this mercy. The other nine... They got cleansed, and I don't know where they went. They went and just forgot about saying thank you to the Lord. Please today, as we read this on the Holy Sabbath, 
can we do in 15? After we get healed, can we return immediately? I don't care how your voice is, but just glorify God. Fall down, just fall down to the ground, to your knees, by his feet, and give him a holy kiss and thank him. Thank him not because of your gender. Don't thank him because you're a foreigner. We don't care about what nationality you are, how tall you are, how short you are, how wide you are. God is only concerned about what he said here in 17 and 18. Where there are not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? There's eight billion people. God is asking the eight billion. Where is my thanks given? And where is my glory? Today, let's be like that one. And then he went to the priest and he glorified in front of all the religious leaders. The other nine were like the Pharisees, the religious leaders. They just want a healing. They didn't want the Lord. I love you guys. And remember, it doesn't matter what position you're in, he can change it and then give him glory. And he'll remember you more from the Church Without Judgment. We love you. Bye -bye.